Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Clive is getting stronger and stronger as each episode goes. Last time we fought Benedicta, who was using her Garuda powers against us in like the semi-transformed state. It was a really tough fight actually, it died a couple times. I was trying not to use health potions after the first death because I think that the way that they do health potions in this game is a little bit strange. There's a lot of checkpoints in the boss fights and then you always get your health and your health potions restored. So I just think it's a bit too easy. I don't know. I just wanted to give myself a little bit more of a challenge and it cost me a couple more deaths, but it was fun and worth it in my opinion. And then after that, we were able to receive some of the powers of Garuda while she kind of lost her attunement with Garuda. And that's pretty much where we left off. And now let's see what adventure awaits us today. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the video. Oh, look, morning has broken. Good, I can see again. And here come the cavalry, itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel. Come on. If they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. So we just got the power of wind. Let's find out about that. Clive has claimed a portion of the Akon Garuda's essence. So he has a portion of it. Attuning with Garuda not only changes the elemental aspect of Clyde's Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Gouge, a deadly flurry of talents that can tear into an opponent for multiple hits. Ability details can be found in the Abilities tab on the main menu. Ruta's iconic feat Deadly Embrace can be used to draw smaller, lighter enemies toward Clive. The action can also topple larger enemies that become partially staggered when they're Will gauge reaches 50%. Toppling an enemy in this manner can deal significant damage. Press L2 to cycle between currently attuned icons in real time, allowing for a more varied assault. Cooldown times for iconic abilities are displayed around the corresponding icon. Avail ability availability for all attuned icons can be confirmed via the colored dots to the widget's right. Ah, Benedict shit. you taken her power. You don't still have it, do you? I think I do. I can feel it. It's inside me. Along with the flames. Well, are you not keen to try it out? What could possibly go wrong? Stuff? Garuda channeled. Okay. We have 745 ability points. I like my lunge. Rook's Gambit. Jump back, then deliver a punishing counter. If the jump evades an atta attack, counter potency is increased can be used in midair okay i'll take it summon a tornado that's oh that i can't afford that <laughs> it's 1500 okay so we have the deadly embrace this is the grapple wing claws wicked wheel rising attack well let's try out these first gouge and wicked wheel Damn, that went on forever. Oh, 
Okay. Well, things got quite a bit more complicated. And I think we're going to get more elemental stuff. And yeah. Now there's just a whole bunch of stuff that we can do and it might get a little bit overwhelming. All right, they want us to go this way. Let's check out our information. A man named Margrace. Mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant of fire. He is rarely seen without his heavy robe, nor his loyal attendant. The two journey together far and wide across the realm to an unknown end. Nice. Yeah. I've come from the camp. Okay. Well. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking about using the uh, whew, the ring that lets the dog just kind of do its dog things. Because I don't know if I want to tr try to like deal with all of the stuff that Clive can do. Especially since it's going to get more and more complicated. And also like telling the dog to attack at the same time. Yeah, I I think I don't want to have to keep pressing like up and down on the D-pad to do, make Torgal do things. I think I'd rather let the game do that. At least for a bit. I don't know. It also takes up a spot that we could be using for something else. So maybe not. Maybe I'll just try to get used to it. I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot all at once, you know? It is a lot all at once. Things went from like... This game is way too simple to this game is way too complex. It is a little overwhelming, but I'm sure we'll get the hang of it. It's like we added three new different moves we could do. Also switching between oh, it's only me. the different um Joey, icon. Are you trying to get yourself killed? It's not me who's been playing with fire. You don't do yeah, that's me. By half, do you? I do fire things. I also do wind things now. This way. So if it wasn't you or him who freed the bears, who was it? Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody harp here, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, just doing me job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gav MVP? And after we were so close. I can track him. Why would you? Yeah, he's got a nose for these things. Told us about your family. Lost me into Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. He sympathizes. That's good. She's gone. She's gone. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get gone, you. Gone, gone, gone. 
What am I going to do? The Barnabas. How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. Oh, shit. These people. <laughs> Fetch a good price, I reckon. Well, we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't <laughs> praise our work. Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> they just got fucked up by these like bandits. What kind of army is this? It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Come on, let's go home. Is this it, Sadolphus? My punishment for not listening to you? To get some of her powers back? I mean, we just took a portion of her powers, so... her again, huh? I want to fight Sid. her again. Do you feel it too? Garuda. By the flames. will swallow this whole forest and us what, along with it. What do you want me to do about it? I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. Mythos? That doesn't mean you have to listen. <laughs> well, I should have gone with you. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what is your plan, Clive? Clive, I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedictus rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. You heard the man, Sid. You, you come in or not? All right. Um, world map. Where are we? Right now, we're here. Oh, we're still, like, out right outside of Cairnorvent. I guess. There are so many. Yeah, there are. One for every fragment of our mind. How do you know all that? Yeah! 
Okay. <laughs> We're going to fight all these. We're going to get tons of experience. It's going to be great. Get him. I'm also like getting fucked up though. Oh, there's an item over here. We're gonna be here a while. I need to like... <laughs> Are we gonna fight her again? Because I don't have anything left. He's in there. He let the fire dominate? How would he be in there? Okay, the Eye of the Tempest. Before we do that, let's see if we can. How do I like heal? My HP. New crafting recipe is available. We should probably check that out. Make it quick. What you want? We can get a bastard sword plus one. Should last you a good while. And a dark sash. Not bad. If I do say so myself. And steel crowns. Or travelers bands. Should last you a good while. Oh, there's reinforcing too. Shoot, I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, that should do you. There are far too few of us as it is, and I want. Garuda, the Warden of the Wind, who Benedicta transformed into during her ill-fated flight from the Empire. It takes the form of a fearful harpy, summoning storms and tearing into the flesh of its prey with hawk-like talons. Such is the icon's frenzy for destruction that even allies of the dominant of the day are wont to begin fleeing the battlefield when dark clouds gather overhead. I, the Tempest, a raging vortex born upon Benedicta Harmon's descent into madness and loss of control over her icon, Garuda. Its power is such that not only are entire villages swept up by its passing, but the very ground beneath it is gouged and disfigured. Anyone through lack of preparation. Okay, so I, uh, have we off. healed now that we traveled here? Or I can't really see my HP right now, can I? Okay, we've healed. Okay, we've healed. Good. Good, good, good. Let's also just check really quick before we get back out there. We have some ability points. Can we upgrade something? Let's upgrade our charged magic here. And then we can upgrade... Oh, we can upgrade our Phoenix Shift. What would that do for us? Increases the distance? That's something that I'll probably be using quite often. And then this one is the... This one will increase the claw range. Let's grab this. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. Oh well, that's fine too. Okay, so we upgraded the cyclone. <laughs> Alright, let's get back out there. I think we're ready. 
Let's go to the eye of the storm. Eye of the tempest, whatever. Same thing. There he is. Wait! Clive, was that the dominant? The man who killed my brother? Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his icon took Joshua. Ow! Nice save. Go. Sit. Forgive me. Okay, let's go. I'm ready to fight. Awakening. wanted to stop her isn't that what Sid said like she's gonna destroy everything or do we not care about that trees are just flying away Go, 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 go. I found you. This is kind of intense. Finding out. Okay. That did not do much damage to her at all.
take down. Larger, larger enemies will become partially staggered when their will gauges are reduced to 50. Using Garuda's deadly embrace on a partially staggered enemy will topple it. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Man, can this music just stop, calm the fuck down right now? happening. Heading oh. there. Hit her again. Oh shit, where are we going? Damn. 
Okay. <laughs> we won. Quite a bit easier this time around. Hey, Stamos. All right. We just took... We just defeated an icon. Clive is definitely unnaturally strong. Because I don't think you're really supposed to do that. Oh, and she's back now. Well, you're nothing. A monster. And I will not let you stand in my way. Awaken. Child of Fate. Awaken Ifrit. He looks awesome. I knew that was Clive. Why'd they make me second guess? It was Clive the whole time. Okay. Melee, ranged, and evade. Melee, range. Okay, yeah. And a lunge. All abilities are available while embodying Ifrit can be confirmed on the abilities tab in the main menu. Gotcha. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, this is okay. Hold on. This is <laughs> okay. Now we're gaming. And the music to say something but I'll wait for this to end dodge boots Shit. 
lose all this. Ow! 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 Cheater! She's kicking my ass! All this shit. Where are we going? I really fucked this fight up. Has so much HP. the dominant and then he came and saved us right now although i'm not sure if we need saving it anymore fight was over a long time ago. Okay. Whew. That was something. All I could think of when I, when we first saw that was imagine, imagine if we had a Xenogears remake and we could fight like that, but with fucking gears. Right, Justinian? <laughs> Come on, please. Please. I need that. All right, let's continue this. Go 
Control it, Clive! It is you, isn't it, Clive? this right now they're not doing this right now <laughs> after that and there's more Ramu, he kicks fucking ass. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yes. Poor Clive. <laughs> he looks awesome. is your problem. Bloody mess, this. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, Clive. you've been chasing it was inside you all along I knew it I freaking knew it <laughs> they'll be damned if I know what that means where's Benedicta Lots of blood. Why? Why did you have to listen to him? Benner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? I'm 
Bahamut? It's Bahamut! The prince is with us! Mega Flare? Dude, Odin looks... Odin's the best one so far. Look at him! Look at that horse! Reform the cohorts. At what? Your Highness. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the holy capital. The capital. What if my father is His he? radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. Who are these people? Matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. Oh, this is the Sonbrek Empire. This right? Clive, let's see. Imperial Bearer turned deserter, joined forces with Sid. After being drawn into a fierce battle with Benedicta, dominant of Garuda, the power of the mysterious icon Ifrit awaken, awakes within him, and he discovers that the dominant of fire he has long been searching for, the one who killed his brother, was none but himself. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused because I felt like when Ifrit appeared... For the first time, I was like, that's Clive. It felt obvious to me, but I, I have to like rewatch it just to see exactly what happened. But then I felt like the game was trying to be like, it's not him. And we're supposed to think it's not him. But the game did make me question myself a little bit, but not really. It also made it seem like Towards the end of that whole section, that whole, um, like, Phoenix versus Ifrit, it made it seem like Clive was watching from afar. But I think it, it was just, like, he wasn't physically watching from afar, you know? So Clive didn't know, so we're seeing things from his perspective. Ifrit, a fire-aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the realm 860 when imperial forces attacked the rosarian stronghold of phoenix gate clad in infernal flame the fiendish fiendish creature flung itself against the phoenix overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before its reappearance was to usher in a second shocking revelation that its dominant was none other than clive rosfield <laughs> okay I killed Joshua. I am still of the mind and don't say anything that we're going to see Joshua again because he's literally the phoenix. And what does the phoenix do? It revives. Ah, you're awake. <laughs> but we'll see. You're just full of surprises. 
First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Also, speaking of Joshua, also, I would really, I really want to say that I think that Joshua is the hooded figure. But the only thing that makes me question that, I would be like, so 100% like, that's Joshua. But we saw the hooded figure in the past. So that wouldn't really make sense that, he, that Joshua grew up to be that, unless there's just some weird stuff going on. Um, but yeah, I, they have this character hooded and shrouded for a reason. Because when the mask comes off, we'll all be like, oh, it was so-and-so. So it's got to be somebody that I feel like it's got to be somebody that we would recognize. And who else but Josh or Wade? No, I'm just kidding. Not Wade. <laughs> I miss Wade. Is Wade ever coming back? No. Joshua, second son of the Archduke of Rosarian, heir to the ducal throne. Upon the night of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate, the shock of seeing his father slain before his disbelieving eyes led to him losing control of his icon and setting the castle alight. From the flames rose the second icon of fire whose murderous rampage laid both the castle and the phoenix. Lo. Didn't know you had it in you. Are we naked? Hey. Hey. Kill me. He's not here to kill you. Me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die. So end it. End it now. Please. Please. Ah! <laughs> I reckon I can take you, if that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll, uh, see you in hell. <laughs> I thought it said I'll see you in hell. <laughs> For a second. <laughs> well. Our dear Clive is not going to be a happy camper for a good long while. You thought he was emo before. Say hello to super ultra mega emo Clive. There are certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable until progress has been made through the main scenario. At such times, quest givers will be indicated with a locked icon. Okay. May as well hear what he has to say. You're gonna be okay, Clive. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? All right, I'm sorry. Did you see the girl Sid brought back with him? I did. Poor thing, all dressed in dirty rags. I'll have to make a new dress for her. Oh yeah, Jill. We haven't seen Jill since we brought her here. What are you doing out of the dungeon? I mean, well, so long as Sid's all right with it, I... Hmm. I could use a hug. Orgle. Finally, 
crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Okie dokie.